Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. And we are Autosave. Welcome to our channel. Today we are watching Kaguya-sama Love is War Season 2, Episode 12. Last episode was one of the most um, heavy episodes of this entire series. Yeah. I'm just um, going to shake my head because I agree with that. I, I got very emotional the last episode. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, rightly so. Ishigami is, if not my favorite, one of my favorite characters in the show. I love him and Miyuki's relationship as well. Um, him and Miko Ino got a little bit more on their past and the significance they hold for each other. I wouldn't have changed a thing about last episode. It was just perfect. We, we really went like into it. it being really nervous and and obviously we ended up finding out you know why Ishigami you know is the Ishigami we know in the show and how that came to be uh but we were pleasantly surprised that the club that he's in did not decide to bully him or do anything embarrassing to him with the cross dressing swap yeah uh, so I'm really thankful for that. I'm really thankful that the, what is it, the tribe of Ye mm -hmm. decided, they didn't decide to be good people. They just were and are good people. Yeah. And they genu genuinely were looking out for Ishigami and have respect for him as a fellow human being and are just nice people. I need more tribe of Ye and positivity. I'm hopeful. Believe it or not, I'm hopeful for like a slice of life, like back to the fun of it. Kagisama love is war because man, that last episode is heavy and it was great. It was amazing. I related too much. Yeah. I relate. I related too much. So I am also ready to, I want to just, let's just focus on Kaguya and Miyuki. <laughs> you know, we had yeah. some great moments with Kaguya speaking about Miyuki to his father without realizing that that was his father, which is awesome and great and doesn't make me sad to think about. So, yes, you ready? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> とりたいものがなかったから。<笑><笑> What type of policy is that? Chica is so in awe. <laughs> <laughs> the true photographer. She's so cute. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit creepy. <laughs> His voice reminds me of Natsuki from abroad in Japan. Yes, please, photo together. No way. That's a different way to look at Ishigami. Secretly help each other out! It's a secret. Oh no. No! I was hoping he didn't say that. <laughs> what kind of pamphlet is this? Kaguya, are you okay? It'll be okay. Oh no, it won't be okay. Is she gonna break the rule? 
<gasps> She's gonna break the family wall. I understand. I kinda like Ishigami's hair like that. I don't. Oh. Yes, a keepsake. Stop. Oh. <gasps> no, it's flip phone. <laughs> Oh, you're probably right on that. Oh. Is that photo lost? No. Yes. Better resolution. This is what I'm talking about. All of her special pictures. Still sad. She's trying to cheer herself up. Yeah. Look at all the pictures. これは古い上に企業用の独自仕様でして残念ですが中のデータは諦めていただくほかありません。今日のところスマホを買って帰りましょう。どれにします会長と同じのがいい。でもよく考えてください。影屋様が会長と同じのを選んでしまったら。やれやれ、俺と同じスマホを買ってく。おかわいいやつね。Interesting. <gasps> Oh my god. ついにスマホ買ったんですか。この間壊してしまったので、観光施設、あと行っても不要です。昔から使う。ようこそ文明社会に。別にそこまでこだわり、LINE というものをインストールしてみたのですが、じゃあ公開しましょう。ガラケー
の勝敗かぐやの勝利何回でもシコシコしてよくて2回2回したい人が負けっていうゲームしましょう何回でもシコシコしてよくてでも最低したした人が負けっていうゲーム<笑>って何ですか I'm b e c o m i n g a r e a でもとりあえずやってみるか準備しますねああこれのことかなんで男子はテンション下がってるんですか<笑>今からやらないって言ったら意味出るよなめちゃくちゃ<笑> I love their friendship She's fucking chaotic dude She's like <laughs> 存在しなかった。僕に対しては人並みに怖がりもする。She has her trick。皆さん、こんなものの何が怖いのですか。くらませるのは無理ですよ。セミハヤサカ。She heard the call。She did not hear the call <笑>。She did not <笑>。<laughs> has moved beyond fear. That's true, he has overcome a lot recently. What cool boy energy. <laughs> Is Miko scared? Yes. Don't make her do it again! No! <laughs> Anything that Chica says, Nico will do. Pulling out all the stops. You have to bite the bullet for her. It's his father. Sugar Daddy. <laughs> Oh. Did she could do this on purpose? Amazing. <laughs> Doesn't this feel like a season finale? I. It has to be. Is this a season finale? We didn't get an intro, right? <laughs> The visual from season one. Okay, that we just watched the season finale. I didn't of even. Kai I honestly War. did not even no, realize it was the finale. I we did don't not like even for, think about it. For all the shows that we watch, we don't look at like how many like episodes, like what episodes are in the season. We try to avoid everything that we can for like spoilers' sake. That caught me so off guard that there, I guess it makes sense. I, was, but, I like, was, I probably, I was so dumb. I, that I was like, wow, this feels like a season finale. Idiot! It is a season. I guess Hagia <laughs> broke her new phone too. Oh shit! Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. What a great episode. Uh, first thing first, I need to talk about this because like it stood out so hard to me. Um, there was a moment that Kaguya tried to blow up the balloon using uh, like a blow dart, right? Mm -hmm. With like lead. Um, All I could think about was in school when you're told not to like, as like kids, we were told not to do that. Cause yeah. Of lead. <laughs> yeah. The, but the thing, the animation and, like, drawing for this scene on Miko Ino had absolutely no reason to be as good as it was. Like, absolutely no reason. And look at this. Look, what, did you see her eye opening there? Yeah. It was, like, the most detailed thing I've ever seen in my life. And there was genuinely no real reason for it. 
It was amazing. I love that this tied back to an original kind of battle of theirs before Kaguya realized that she couldn't have a line on her flip yeah. phone to talk to the president. I, it, was, it was great. I The whole initial like beginning of the episode was so sad. Like they tried to throw in like some goofs and stuff after the fact of. Um, God, I'm so like, I'm. Still taken aback. I'm sorry. Um, like That's out of co- really cool. I mean, you didn't even know it was a season finale. Yeah. I mean, it's already like <laughs> uh, takes me aback enough that we. Oh wait, this is the last episode of the season. Yeah. we would be about to start a new season. Yeah, next episode. But, but Kaguya, like, like after she dropped her phone and like lost all that, it was hard for me to like smile or like enjoy anything positively i think because that's a very like relatable thing um i've definitely had it where like you ask you do a phone update or you broke your phone and you didn't back it up or something to the cloud you know and everything's lost i totally could feel her pain with that i can't i don't know what's wrong with me maybe i am kaguya before she had meaningful like relationships because I love like starting fresh in a new phone and like I know losing I all don't get memory. how you do that. It's like the best thing in the world to me. Like I'm like oh uh, uh, people people are like oh you want to transfer your contacts over? I'm like nah I'm good. That's Just true. He does full not mayhem. transfer his contacts over. Full chaos. Speaking of chaos, Chica was in this episode. <laughs> she her pumping up the balloon so much to begin with was so in character for Chica. She's like a psychopath. Oh, can we talk about how, like, the principal brought up in front of Ishigami and Miko that they both secretly always help each other? Yeah. And they were both like, what? He's He would know it for Miko's sake, right? Is he, like, the narrator? Could be. The, the You know, they always say, is there, like, an um, what an all-knowing narrator? Like, there's different types of narrators. I guess he would be the type that... Like, breaking the fourth wall kind he, of thing? That, and he knows... Even the things that they would never say out loud. Yeah, but he also has in-story canon evidence of Miko helping out Ishigami behind his back. You know? His voice acting was so good this episode. I really loved that we were, you know, now that I'm, again, realizing it was the finale episode, it makes it even better that we went through all of those photos and they were true events in the show that I remember them taking that photo. Yeah. You know, the cat ears, the, the, when he did that face with the, you know, and like getting Miko to pose for a picture, the fireworks, obviously the taxi driver, or whoever was driving took that picture. Well, I thought it was Ishigami who took it. Wasn't Ishi? Oh, Ishigami was. Yeah. Ishigami was in the Front passenger seat. seat. Yeah, in the passenger seat. Which side is the passenger? The left, because I think they drive on the right. I could be wrong. No, they drive on the right hand. Like so, the steering wheels on the right hand side. Ishigami took that one. Well, no, that's my favorite part, I think, of this whole like scene is that we're re seeing like events that have happened, but in perspectives that we've never seen mm-hmm. of it, which was like super neat. And a lot of these photos make sense that someone would have taken them as, like, a photo opportunity. Like, yeah. obviously having Kay and, like, Kaguya peeking over their shoulder. I can just imagine that, like, Chika and her little sister were, like, coming up to them and calling okay. their names or something. Agreed. This feels very right and in character of Chika, correct? Mm-hmm. This, on the other hand. This was who- Ishigami. You think? I, come on. I feel like he would have... I feel like Chika would have taken a picture, but Ishigami, like, would have balanced it. You know, the the moon, the composition. I feel like Ishigami would have purposefully tried to get a good composition. Oh, I agree with you. The picture we're talking about is the one with um, Kaguya and Miyuki sitting next to each other on the roof. Looking at the the moon. Who who took the picture is is such an interesting mystery because this is a romantic moment. And I think that there's potential that whoever took this photo took it with a romantic moment in mind. It's Kashiwagi. <laughs> Could be. Interesting. Oh, and then Miyuki and uh, Ishigami's friendship. Oh. So good. 
I love it. Such a cute, like, it's already cute that he didn't make this group text until she got a smartphone. But it's not just solely about Kaguya, like, that kind of kindness. Because obviously, when Miko was like, I just thought I wasn't invited, he was like, I wouldn't do that to you. He's just, he's kind. Of course, he wouldn't purposefully leave, like, leave someone out. Yeah. Um. But obviously, he was like, well, what's the point in all of us talking if Kaguya can't be a part of it? Mm-hmm. I And ch- see, that's why I think Chika took the picture, because she told Kaguya that Miyuki, like his, what his intention there was and like his lack of starting the group chat until Kaguya could be a part of it. I'm like, Chika knows everything. So is Chika purposefully being chaotic in order to make it so she's actually big brain and she knows that they're playing games and avoiding confessing. And so she's messing up their plans in order to try in her own way to get mo- like momentum in nah, terms of confession. The first part you were right. She is trying to mess up their plans, but it's just because she likes messing up plans. Like she, she likes games too. Yeah. So to have the Miyuki sugar daddy flashback just to be like pulled, like just for the rug to be pulled out under it, and it to me nothing was awesome. I it's really serious because we know that like from last episode or two episodes ago that Miyuki's father still is like faithful to Miyuki's mother, even though she ran off with someone else. He won't else. sign the divorce papers. He won't sign the divorce papers. And so it made it even more like serious right? and deep that he was like telling Miyuki this. And of course I'm like, of course they would be just like standing outside in the middle of the night, looking up at the sky. Like, mm-hmm. what are you doing? And why are you having a deep conversation right now? It's so perfect. I really like this is such a great way to end the season. I'm I how many seasons are in the show? Three. Three? That's kind three of three so far? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I enough. know that there's more, obviously. I know that we're about we're gonna be watching There's a next episode a next option. Episode option. Yeah. Um so next season. I what a great way to end the season. Is there ever going to be a confession? I do feel there's definitely I I don't say that because I haven't seen any momentum or progress in terms of their relationship, because I feel like what's been the focus and the highlight is that there are some internal workings like they always say, like, you shouldn't get in a re- into a relationship until you love yourself yeah. or understand yourself. And I feel like some of that work it has been done and is being done in front of our eyes, uh, in front of our eyes. Yeah. Um, which will make a hopefully inevitable confession if even more satisfying. Uh, so I, I hope we get that. I, I, I have watched too many like romance themed anime where you either don't get anything really before they stopped animating the show, you know? Any, any, like a kiss or a confession or anything or an establishment of how they feel about each other or their, what their relationship is going to be going forward. I've seen too many shows where it just kind of drops off before you get any sort of satisfying conclusion, conclusion or knowing where it's going to go. Um, so I'm, I'm really, I really want that. I don't want to be left out to dry, you know, never seeing Kaguya and Yuki ever be in a relationship. I don't even care if they kiss. Like, I don't, I've seen, so I've seen one show in particular where the type, the, the personalities of the characters, it was satisfying to just have them like walk away and reach for each other's hands as they're walking next to each other. I've seen that before and it was so satisfying because it fit their personalities and it felt like a and they were admitting you know that they liked each other and that they wanted to be together and that there would be a relationship in the future between the two of them and that feels satisfying and I feel like obviously that's not a huge romantic gesture or anything but for this couple I don't feel like I need to see a kiss you know to feel 
satisfied at them and their love and their relationship. Mm. What would you want to see? What would I want to see? If not a kiss. I think since the whole show's like major theme has been wanting the other to confess, I think it's going to need to be purely dialogue. I don't even they I don't even think they need to touch each other, like or kiss each other or hug each other. I think what they've been leading us up to and what both of these characters would want is to be verbally told that they are liked or loved I by the other. You. So I think that is what I would want. That I think I would have a bigger reaction um, like emotionally and happy like being more happy uh seeing a confession i still would be freaking out if they kissed and i would be screaming and extremely happy but based off of the characters and their dialogue and like the point of the show so far seemingly the confession would be the most like satisfying Mm -hmm. and i guess i don't know i'm i'm a little nervous because i don't want the show i don't want to stop watching the show what if this is just like goes on and on forever and and we always just they're I, in college and and maybe maybe one of them follows the other to college and then they're still just trying to maybe they they end up moving in together out of out of um convenience and never admitting if you had mentioned that funny option to me 3 episodes into the show I'd be like I could see that the amount of like actual story growth that has happened in the past two seasons leads me to believe it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like it's going to come to that confession or the, it, it's not just going to be family guy and go for 20 seasons, you know? I hope. I hope. You good? Mm-hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We hope to see you.